A moment now for some news about the co-anchor of this program, Ed Henry. After a recent claim and investigation involving sexual misconduct in the workplace, Ed has been terminated from Fox News. In an internal memo to employees, Fox News Media CEO Suzanne Scott and President and Executive Editor Jay Wallace addressed this very serious issue in an effort to bring full transparency to it and emphasize that we will continue to strive to maintain a safe and inclusive workplace for all employees. Rotating anchors will be sitting in with me until a replacement is named. Let's talk about what's behind you because I've interviewed various Democrats on the show and they'll tell me, this is a fantasy. There's no new wall being built. They've said that. Well, this was uh, not that? here two weeks ago. So this is all brand new wall. This goes miles up the mountain over here. This goes, I mean, you're seeing that this goes mm -hmm. miles down yeah. in this direction. It's, I'm going to donate part of my liver on Tuesday. Wow. <laughs> Everybody at Fox. And they're amazing. And, you know, and you guys are great. And uh, we're family. You're total change. Yes, um, we sure are. We're going to miss yeah. you for a while on yeah. the couch. Yep. As so um, we're going to do the surgery on Tuesday. And uh, what's amazing about the liver that I've learned that you didn't know is that it regenerates. Mitt Romney charged last week, quote, if you do not want America to be the strongest nation on earth, I am not your president. You have that president today. The, uh, well, I didn't know that you were the spokesperson for Mitt Romney, uh, but... Uh, what do you make of that, Ed? Because obviously, I mean, that happens all the time in these White House Q&As where you quote somebody else, whether it's a Republican like Boehner or whatever to the president. Why do you think he took issue with that? In these news conferences, it, it's pretty typical uh, to quote political opponents, whether it's John Boehner, whether it's Mitt Romney. Here's what they're saying. What's your response? Uh, I was trying to put it in the broader context of uh, not just Mitt Romney, but there are a lot of Republicans out there who have charged that this president leads from behind. I understand it's a tough job, right. and God forbid there's another terror attack. Every one of us is going to be second-guessing you, and that is extremely difficult to be in the Oval Office. That's okay. But as you said, you, you took that on. You yes. put it on your back. And so my question is, do you have any personal regrets? You're not addressing the fact, the public statements you've made to reassure the public. Your director of national intelligence, James Clapper, months ago went up, got a question from a Democrat, not a Republican, about whether some of this was going on, and he denied but, it. But, Doesn't but, that but, undermine the and, public trust? And, and you're, you're conflating, first of all, me and, and, and Mr. Clapper. And he's understand. still on the job. I understand. But what I'm, what I'm saying is this. All right. Uh, a couple days ago, the White House was very unhappy about Boehner's decision to show up at the White House with just 18 or 20 Republicans instead of the entire conference. But it seems like it was actually one of the most productive meetings that have happened since the shutdown. Do you regret 